guys, would you really go to a doctor named Dr. Strange? If I met a doctor and his name was Dr. Stephen Strange, I would run the hell away. Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name's Ramney and today we're going to be drawing Dr. Strange from the upcoming movie, Doctor Strange. So as of publishing this tutorial, Doctor Strange has yet to be released here in North America. And in anticipation for that movie, I thought I would show you guys how to draw the titular Doctor Strange character. I cannot wait for this movie. I think it's going to be really exciting. I've heard some really good reviews, especially about the visuals. And I think the casting of Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange is just spot on spot on. In the comic books, of course, Stephen Strange is the Sorcerer Supreme, known for being one of the most powerful magicians in the Marvel Universe. And here today I'm going to show you guys how to draw Doctor Strange as portrayed by Benedict Cumberbatch. So as usual, what you guys need is a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and a black pen so you can ink your drawings afterwards. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause at any time so you can catch up on your drawings. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. And if your drawing looks slightly different than mine or looks nothing like Benedict Cumberbatch, that is completely fine. Having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. All right, hey guys, let's get started with our tutorial. As you guys can see, I've got my paper in portrait mode. We're going to be drawing Doctor Strange uh, standing up, but we're only going to draw up to his waist. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to start by drawing his face at the top over here. Okay, so we're going to go right in the middle. And instead of drawing a circle like I usually do, I'm going to draw an oval. Because Benedict Cumberbatch's face and head is pretty long. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this kind of oval shape where it's rounder at the top and narrower at the bottom, like an upside down egg, I guess you could say. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start shaping this and I kind of want to get this right before I move on to the rest of the body. So let's do that. So I'm going to start with the forehead and the cheekbone. Here's the cheekbone right here. I'm just going to make it prominent and I'm going to bring it down. And his jaw kind of rounded. I'm going to bring it up. We've got his other cheekbone right here. And then above the cheekbone, I'm going to draw the hairline and it goes like this and then above. And then we round that off. So there you go. I'm going to draw a light line going across right here. This is going to be the brow. I'm going to draw a light line going down. And that of course is the middle of the face. Over here I'm going to draw the ear. So from the cheekbone I'm going to draw, it, it's kind of big. I'm looking at the reference photo over here and, it, and Benedict Cumberbatch does kind of have some pretty big ears. It kind of goes out like this. We're going to, we're going to go in the middle of the ear now and we're going to draw the hairline. So it goes out like that and then goes above and we're going to find a spot over here. Draw a line diagonal like this. That's going to be the part in the hair. And it goes like that. And then the other part, actually it goes kind of high. Whatever hair gel he uses, um, it makes his hair really tall. So it goes up like this. And then it goes down. And before it goes down, let's find the other ear. And we're going to we're going to find the bottom of this ear and make sure that it's the same height. We're going to make this ear slightly smaller because we don't see as much of it. So just like that. And as it reaches the top here, we're going to draw a line from here going out like that. And then we're going to follow this line to the top. Okay, so now we've got the general shape of Dr. Strange's head. Face. Okay, neck. We're going to go bottom of the ear. Line going down. And then here in the cheek, line going down. So it looks like he's got a pretty long neck right now, but we're going to cover that up with the cloak. And the cloak is going to have some pretty huge collars, so let's uh, worry about that later. Now let's draw the nose. And the nose, I'm going to draw a line from the brow down. And then I'm going to make kind of where, okay, you see this line right here. I'm going to draw this line from earlobe to earlobe, because that's also where I'm going to draw the Right here is where I'm going to draw the nose. So I'm going to draw a line going down on this side of the middle line. And then at the bottom, I'm going to create like a little bulb. So it kind of does that. 
so line and it curves like this and it kind of draw this on this side of it like a I'll make this part thicker okay now on this side I'm gonna draw a nostril and the nostril is kind of like a diamond shape just like that and like I said if your drawing looks nothing like Benedict Cumberbatch that is not the point of this uh, um, that's not the point of this tutorial. The point of this tutorial is to draw Doctor Strange and it doesn't really matter whether he looks like the actor or not because you can tell who Doctor Strange is based on his costume. So, uh, all right, so I'm gonna draw this little C, backward C right here. And then I'm gonna draw a line going up like that. And I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna draw this line right there. I'm gonna draw these two lines for the uh, for his uh, brows. So it's like a little curved line like that, and curved line like this. I'm gonna draw the eyebrows, and the eyebrows go along that line that we drew earlier. I'm gonna draw, here at the bottom, it kind of goes along with that line, and then here it sort of angles up, so it becomes thicker as you reach the end there. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Kind of hard to do it when, it's, it's always good to turn your Turning paper sideways makes it easier for you to draw. That's why I don't tape my paper to my table. Because I find it's easier to tilt. Now, let's draw the eyes. And the eyes, they're just, uh, well, first thing I'm going to do is the top curve. One underneath that eyebrow, like that. And another one underneath this eyebrow right here. Make sure to bring this one close to the nose, the bridge of the nose. You don't want it to go too far. Otherwise, he's gonna have derpy eyes. Okay. And then now the bottom. So you make the bottom, I curve the bottom a little less than I do the top. And drawing eyes takes a lot of practice. It really does. And of course I can't get it right the first time, or sometimes I don't get it right the first time. And that's fine. It's kind of hard to do and kind of embarrassing if you're doing a tutorial and you don't get it right the first time though. All right, now let's draw the eyes. The eyes are circles that are, they kind of attach to the top of the, that, the eye right there, like that. All right, I'm actually going to double up right here and draw that. Uh, above your eye, there's, an, there's a fold and I'm gonna draw that and then I'm, Right here, I'm going to draw the line at the bottom as well. And in the middle, I'm going to draw his pupil. And Benedict Cumberbatch has some pretty intense eyes. And I'm just going to draw a dot in the middle of them. And those are going to be his pupils. All right. So we've got that. Now let's draw the mouth. I'm going to draw the mouth over here. I'm going to draw this shape first. So it's got a V. And then from that V, some diagonal lines sticking out. And then a line going across. And then here at the bottom, I'm gonna draw this little shadow right here and one long line like that. And as you guys can see, it looks nothing like Benedict Cumberbatch, but that's fine. It looks nothing like Doctor Strange, not yet anyway, because he does not have the signature goatee. So let's go ahead and start drawing that. And the goatee, let's draw the shape of it first. We're gonna start here at the bottom of the nose we're going to bring it out like this. And this one curves curves down towards the chin like that. So does this. Okay, so that's the top. And then the bottom, just above the mouth here. So it does that. So I'm going to cover. I'm going to use my pencil. I'm just going to make a mustache out of that shape. And then the bottom is going to go like this. Okay, so I drew a line going across and then here in the chin area, kind of just below the mouth here, I made it a little bit longer. So there you go. Make his lips a little bit more evident. And this is kind of the tough part of drawing from a picture instead of drawing from a drawing. Well, this is from an image from the movie 
And it's kind of hard to, harder, a little bit harder to do tutorials on movie stills instead of, uh, like, say, art from a comic book. All right, so I think we've got that. Over here, I kind of rounded it off so that it goes like that. And let's kind of do the same thing over here. Now let's draw over here. His hair has turned white on this side. And I'm just drawing some lines like this. But I'm not going to fill it in, obviously, because it's, it's white. And here at the top, I'm going to fill that in because it's brown and it's darker. And I'm going to draw how pretty much how his, his hair flows on his head. So just from the forehead to the back of the head here, slash top. And then here, we've got the hair kind of going towards this little part right here. So I'm just uh, drawing curves that go like that. And there it's starting to look like Doctor Strange. Of course, over here, got the white part of the hair and his temples. And then the hair goes like that. And then that, there you go. Give uh, give his hairline a little bit more, uh, don't make it too rounded. There you go. Now let's do the ear. Just that little bump in the ear. And then the top curve. And then here the bottom curve right there. I'll just bring it like that. There you go. So there we have Dr. Strange's strange head. Now let's draw the rest of his body, you guys. All right, so now we're gonna find his shoulders and we're gonna start, okay, so I drew this long line right here. That's the neck. The shoulders kind of start off right here and they go down like this. From here, I'm gonna draw a little invisible line and then like that. So as you guys can see, this shoulder is a little bit, just a tiny bit higher than this shoulder right here. All right, those are gonna be our guidelines. Now let's draw the collar part right here. I'm gonna draw this little line right there and I'm gonna make a V. And I'm gonna connect it to this side of the neck right there. And that V, we're gonna draw a bigger V from here all the way down to about here, like that. And then from here, it goes in like this and then down like that. So his uh, shirt, if you wanna call it that, has multiple layers and this is the inner layer of it. And from here, I'm gonna draw a line going down like that. And he's got some frills. It's a frilly shirt underneath. So I'm just draw these lines like that, right there. And now let's draw the collar for the cloak. So you see this point right here? I drew a line that goes up to here. And then I'm going to connect it to there, but I'm gonna bring it down to here. This is going to be his cloak. Cloak of Levitation. Pretty popular in the comics. So it kind of goes down. Let's bring it a little lower right there. And I believe if the movie and the comics are accurate, this is the cloak that allows Doctor Strange to fly. And I think it can also, it has a mind of its own, so it also fights back. As well as protects. All right, now from the ear, I draw a line going across. And then, and then it goes towards a little point right here. And then from that point, I bring it in like this. I'm gonna erase that line inside. I'm gonna double up on that line. And then I bring it like that. So it's kind of like his cloak is a, his cloak is folding from the back of his head and it's folding this way towards, towards you. And I'm gonna draw this line and make it go that way and shade that back part. Now I'm going to bring that down like that. Actually, like this. So from here, draw a line like this, and then out. To hopefully this shoulder part that you guys have drawn already. Up to there. I'm gonna stop there for now, and we're gonna go. Well, actually, we're going to connect this to there. And now I'm going to go on the other side, right around here. 
I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to bring this up before I do. Actually, I'm going to bring it up like that and then goes around. Bring it up and then goes to the neck and kind of goes around the neck. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm going to find a spot right here and a spot right around here. So this and this are kind of in the same, the same alignment. There, and then I'm going to bring it to this part. There you go. That's the other side of the collar. Now, shoulder goes out. I'm going to erase this line. All right. Now let's keep going, you guys. I'm going to continue from here. I'm going to draw a line going down about this much on both sides. And then I'm going to draw just a faint line. Goes up like this slightly and then goes across. And for this one, slightly goes up and goes diagonal. Like that. I'm going to draw the eye of Akamoto. And the eye is going to be right here. So let's draw an, like a football shape. American football. So a curve at the top, a curve at the bottom, and make them connect just like this. Sorry, I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller. Doesn't have to be too big. Although in the comics, they draw different sizes. And then connect from here to there, and here to there. Wait a sec, let's uh, fix this one up. You want it to connect in the same spot on that eye. That's better. And the eye has lots of intricate patterns, but let's draw the people part, which is a circle in the middle. And then I'm going to draw these lines right here. So we're gonna draw these lines that look like a basketball, but they're not, <laughs> they're not quite. So one goes across like that, and the other goes across like this. And then from here, goes across. As you notice, I'm curving them. And then the other one is a tiny one on this side. So this is pretty much the the symbol for Doctor Strange. And I'm not sure if they'll tell you what that symbol means in the in the movie. But it's kind of the symbol that appears in his house as well. All right, and I'm gonna draw some lines across like this. And he's got some pretty intricate details inside as well. I'm not gonna bother drawing those. You guys can if you want to, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. All right, so now let's draw the, let's draw the body and let's figure out where his chest goes. About this far from here, I'm gonna draw that line. And I'm gonna draw a curve that goes like this and goes about this far down. I'm gonna draw a slightly diagonal line going across and that's gonna be his, uh, that's gonna be where his belt starts like that. So it's slightly higher there than it is on this side. And on this side, I'm going to find a spot right around here. And I'm going to draw a line going down like this. I actually want this to be a little lower. So let me fix that up for you guys. There you go. Now, his shirt is going to have lots of these little frilly parts right here, and they're layers. So let's start drawing those layers. I'm going to start with this one right here. Goes down to there. And then let's build our way out. This one now. And I'm going to draw a line at the bottom. It's just to indicate that the, the fabric is folding. And from here, I'm going to draw this line. And after that, I'm going to draw a series of lines. And they're going to be different in, in size and shape. So one, two, I'm going to draw one right here. And here's three, and then one behind it, four. And then here, I'm just going to draw that. There you go. I think I'm gonna draw another line going out like this. 
and now over here one two and then right here there you go now let's uh, finish drawing the cloak now that we have his general torso shape and just fix it up over here there, there are these um, metallic things that look like wings and I'm gonna, so I'm going to go over here and draw that going across same thing over here and then I'm going to curve it just like that and it's got a series of um, lines that go uh, that go across it like this I'm going to draw two of them on each side and then I'm just going to draw little squares right there now from here I'm just going to draw a light line that goes to his shoulders and then from here it uh, kind of starts off right here so I'm going to draw this it goes out like that and it goes it kind of goes above well it goes to the top right here and there's another fold from that it goes out right there I'm gonna draw the fabric folding onto itself here at the top on the shoulder and then from here I'm just going to round it off kind of like that now here at the bottom go across as soon as I reach this part I'm gonna bring it up like that so it acts like his cape and the fabric over here kind of does this as well and one more across just like that all right now let's show where his arms go and right here his arm kind of goes down right here and over here it sort of does starts right here bring it down and there you go I'm gonna take this now and I'm going to just draw lightly for now draw a line where where the cape of the cloak of levitation goes right here and right here kind of does this and then goes down so as you guys can see it engulfs him and the rest of Doctor Strange is going to be drawn inside that cloak and let's do that let's draw the belt now goes across like this ends off right there and right here actually I make this a little bit wider you kind of want to make it so that it's you know, you, you don't want the body to start going like this, so just make sure that the belt is kind of centered to, to Doctor Strange. So, so what I'm going to do is I, I brought it a little bit more this way. There you go. Now it's got a series of belts. That's one. And then there's one that kind of goes above it. So I'm going to draw a second belt right here. It follows that same angle. that the first belt is going to have this buckle kind of thing right here not in the center okay the second belt has two buckles two metallic buckles right there and here and beneath that I'm gonna draw a circle so this looks more like a harness than it does a belt and another circle inside that and then I'm going to draw a series of uh, rope lines going out from the center of that circle to the outside of that circle like this so it kind of looks like a, a life life preserver okay but from here I'm going to draw a diagonal belt going to the side here I'm going to do the same thing from here to here. Now the problem with drawing something before the movie comes out is you don't have an explanation for what things are. So I have no idea what this is. And maybe the movie will explain, or maybe they won't. Got a strap right here, or a buckle. Another buckle right here and one more beside it and the other thing that he has is this 
contraption. I'll just call it a contraption. There's no idea what it is. I'm going to just draw like a rectangle and a line in the middle of it. Like that. And I'm just going to draw a series of lines and circles like that. And like I said, this one, no idea what it is yet. Maybe they'll explain in the Doctor Strange movie. And it would be very embarrassing if we are drawing it wrong, whatever it is. It has like a, a circle here beneath it. So let's uh, wait till the movie comes out, which it comes out as of the release of this video. It comes out that Thursday or Friday. Is it Thursday or Friday? One of those days here in the United States anyway. All right, so I've got that. I'm going to draw a line from here to here. Another one right here. All right, so now we've got Doctor Strange's his um, his shirt kind of goes beneath his uh, belt and it spreads out like this. So I'm actually going to start drawing. Draw that like that and this over here. All right, now actually let me finish. Let's finish the belt and then let's continue on with that. From here, uh, he's got very intricate patterns right here. I'm just I'm just going to draw a line going across. It's got like a braid pattern. But I'm just going to draw some diagonal lines instead. So here's some diagonal lines and then here some more diagonal lines. And he's got a few more um, a few more belts uh, inside. Actually from here I'm going to continue that line going right here. I actually didn't realize until now that uh, this is actually this looks more like a harness right here and the inside the top the middle and here are the same thing there. It's like a bigger, a bigger belt. So this and this are the same. I'm just going to draw some faint lines across it like that. And finally, I'm going to draw a line right here. So as you guys can see, this is actually one whole belt. And it goes below like this right here. Fix that line up. Okay, now right here, he's got another strap that goes down, and at the bottom of it, it's kind of frayed, or from from my drawing anyway, or from the image that I took from the internet. All right, and then here it's got a, a little buckle right there. There you go, and that's it for that. Now I'm going to continue from here. I'm going to bring this sideways to here and I'm just going to draw a line going out like this and then this one out like that and I'm actually going to end it off right here I'm not going to draw any lower than that because that means I'd have to draw the hands and I really don't want to make this video any longer than it is right here's a fold and right here's a fold and the fabric and then like we did at the top I'm just going to draw a series of lines going down different sizes different to widths and down about that much and then he's got that exact same thing whatever this is he's got another one down here so I'm just going to draw that um, same shape rectangle line in the middle and this time around I'm going to draw three um, three rectangles right there so it kind of has that has that shape right there and let's finish off by drawing the hands, the arms. The arms, there's tons of folds on the arms. So first I'm gonna draw the, the top here, or let's continue drawing this line. And then here on this side, I'm going to lightly draw a line where his elbow goes. And then right around here is where his, his glove kind of starts. So I'm gonna draw this curve like that. I'm gonna bring it like this. So his forearm is kind of covered in that same, or this is his forearm and it's completely covered. Right here is where I do a lot of lines like this because it's just fabric that's folded quite a bit. So from, from the elbow here, actually whatever this part of the arm is, I'm just draw a bunch of curved lines that go out and I do the same thing on this side. So it gives that to, folded fabric look 
And then as you go up, it gets fewer and fewer. Okay. And then here, there's a strap. Actually, that's the strap. And then I'm going to draw another strap below it, just like that. And then one across, and I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. And then now on this side, we've got his arm from here. Let's uh, find this exact same spot. So kind of across like this is where his, um, the other forearm band starts. It goes down like that and it kind of goes behind the fabric. There you go. All right, so now let's draw. Well, let's draw lots of wrinkles. I want to make this line too straight, actually. So I'm going to make it more uh, zigzaggy like that. It's supposed to be loose fabric. So I kind of want to make sure that that is what it looks like. And I'm just fixing it up to make it look nicer. You guys don't have to do it. You guys don't have to do what I'm doing. Okay. And lastly, I'm going to bring this in slightly more. Let's draw the straps now. One. Oh, here's one. That's one strap, and it kind of goes over like this. This whole thing is connected, or they're they're one piece of fabric. And then here's one like that. So it's like a, a band that keeps going around his forearm like this. And there's one going this way. And I'm gonna end it off right there. And I'm not gonna draw the rest of his his hands. All right, so that's uh, that's that. Let's uh, finish off by drawing some wrinkles in the cloak here in the back. So this cloak kind of does this. And let's do the same thing on the side. And if I'm not mistaken, you guys, I think we've got it. That is Doctor Strange from the upcoming movie Doctor Strange starring Benedict Cumberbatch. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. As you guys can see, this end screen is completely different because YouTube has made it more accessible, especially for mobile phone viewers. So stick around to the end of this video so you can find all of the links that I usually have on my end screen. Having said that, I hope your drawings of Doctor Strange turned out great. And if they did, if you're proud of them, I would love to see your drawings. So head on over to the Google Plus community and post your masterpieces there. As usual, if you guys are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or do my tutorials, I have links to those in the description below. Clicking on those links helps to ensure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can keep making this stuff for you guys sustainably. My question of the day, are you going to see Doctor Strange? Have you seen it already? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it. No spoilers for now, wait until everybody has seen it, like myself. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you guys subscribe. Here in this channel, I show you how to draw your favorite characters in easy to follow, simple step-by-step -step instruction. So if you guys like what you see, head on over and hit the subscribe button. It's around me somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but you can also click on the subscribe button below this video. And if you did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video, commented below, or shared this with your friends in social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, drive2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of Doctor Strange. Again, all of these links are down below in the description box. And finally, you guys, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more so you can learn to drive too. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Seriously, if you guys are going to post spoilers in the comments below, I am going to block you. I am not kidding. Man, you guys, YouTube is really messing up the end cards here. I've had to completely redo all of my end card stuff. But it's good though, because it makes it easier for people to click on these videos. Because on mobile, you can't really click on any of the annotations, so 
this is better, but it's still needs a lot of work. YouTube, get on it.